Welcome, Mike Martinez, and uh, today I want to just kind of touch base on something that, you know, for me and my business is, is common knowledge, for, for a lot of people is not common knowledge. The fact of the matter is that I, I'm, a, if you don't know, I'm a public adjuster, and public adjusters help homeowners or business owners when they are placing a home insurance claim uh, so that they can get representation and get the highest possible su settlement uh, in that process, right? Because a lot of times, if we're just left to the insurance companies and what the insurance companies are willing to pay, you don't you don't get as much as you can get, right? Um, and you know, uh, ironically, we every other commercial, every actually the statistics are every third commercial that you you see on TV is in some way related to the insurance industry or is an insurance commercial, whether it's car insurance, health insurance, uh, life insurance, or home insurance. So the impression is that we are going to be taken care of, right? The impression is that if you got the insurance, we got you. But the fact of the matter is at least uh, in the case of home insurance, when you put a claim out there, you say, hey, I got some damage to my house. It, it, it's a different kind of game. It's not, you know, they send their insurance guy uh, or their uh, claims adjuster, and that claims adjuster is working for who is obviously working for the insurance company. So because he's working for the insurance company, and this is all logical thinking, right? Uh, they are going to try to minimize what it is that they're paying out. Their profit margin is based, remember, on collecting premiums, not paying out claims. Paying out claims shrinks the, what the investors get back as far as profit, right? So they're trying to minimize what they're giving out to homeowners in claims, and they're trying to maximize when they are getting their premiums. That's just the way the... Uh, the model works for them. And since they're writing the policy, they they word the policy in a certain way that you, the homeowner, has to uh, prove your burden, has to prove your damage. And there's a very specific way of doing that. And when you do not follow that specific way of doing things, you're simply not going to get the right amount of money back. That's just the way it works. So, and, and, and we've proven this many, many times, uh, and we've also proven that, you know, you actually need representation. 97% of, of uh, home insurance claims, there's about 5 or 6 million home insurance claim a year, 97, uh, uh, excuse me, 93%, only 7% are, use, uh, are, are using public adjusters to get representation. And that means a lot of money is being left on the table. As a matter of fact, 6 out of 10 claims initially are denied. Uh, and that simply is because uh, of how the homeowner is expressing how they're communicating with the home or with the insurance company when they make that initial call. Hey, I got some damage on my roof, blank, 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 blank. And they're answering questions that are being posed by the uh, friendly customer service guy. And then you get a letter five or six weeks later saying you've been denied because X, Y, Z. This happens quite often, and a lot of times, or what happens is you either get denied, or they come out and, and, and hand a, a, a settlement check to you and say, hey, here you go, you want to accept this money, you got to sign over here, say we settled. Now, that is true. When you accept a check, you're, you're signing saying, hey, I settled. But uh, what a lot of homeowners don't know is that those claims can be reopened to investigate to see if they got everything they were supposed to get. A lot of times, again, when we're doing these claims very, very quickly, uh, a lot of money is being set on the, on, uh, left on the table. It's almost like they're saying, hey, if we give you this money right away, then, you know, you're not going to get paid everything. Are you willing to do that? Right. Yeah. Um, you know, you got these companies that I was just speaking to a friend, uh, a public adjuster friend, actually, that said, you know, uh, he had a family member that uh, went to one of these, you know, uh, give me the money or pay me for the settlement I'm supposed to get in a year. And, you know, so what it actually turned out is that they were getting 35 percent 
of what they were supposed to get. So if you're supposed to get $100,000, let's say, and you go through these early settlement companies, right, or, uh, you know, you're supposed to get a lottery payoff of $100,000 next year, but you get there early, what happens is um, they take a huge chunk of that. So they give you 35% and they say, hey, we're waiting for a year. So, you know, this is how it is. So out of $100,000, they give you 35000 They collect the bulk of the money, 65000 And that's kind of like what's going on unofficially, right, uh, with the insurance company. So here's the point. The point is that if you are a homeowner and if you are about to put a claim or you have put a claim over the last 12 months and you were not satisfied... You can employ a person like myself, a public adjuster, and we can go out there and open a claim. Now, what I'm going to show you here in this screen right here is simply uh, one of our recent claims that we did. It was an actually uh, a fire claim uh, that initially they got $130,000 from uh, the insurance company. Now, the, keep in mind, the, the gentleman that had this claim it was a complete fire loss. The gentleman that had this claim had a, a policy that was worth over $500,000. Complete loss, insurance company gives him $130,000 and says, okay, sign here and we've settled, right? But the fact of the matter is he contacted me. We went, we reopened the claim. We looked at how much money was left on the table and we were able to recover an additional $287,000 for this gentleman. Now, is that powerful? Does this happen often? You'd be surprised how often this does happen. So what I'm saying to you is, uh, number one, if you have a claim, you should always get representation. If you're having to go to court, you should always have a lawyer with you, right? Does that make sense? You should always have somebody looking after your best interest. Now, uh, if you have a claim and you do not have a public adjuster on your side, your own, you are you are facing just the adjuster from the company side you're not going to get paid what you're supposed to right or chances are you're not going to get paid you want somebody to be representing your best interest and looking at everything what is it you know i don't know if you've ever looked at your home insurance policy but that's that's a, a pretty interesting uh, uh, piece of, of information there, right? You got to go through pages and pages and pages and pages of stuff that you don't even know how to understand, right? And that's what lawyers do, right? That's what public adjusters do. We look at your policy and we decipher what it is that you are eligible for getting. And then we go on and, and fight for you, for what's uh, what's available to you. And unless you know how to do that in a very specific way, most people don't know how to do that. That's why you would hire a person like myself. But keep in mind, this is a, this is a company that, uh, this example here is a company that's a very popular company that you see on TV all the time, right? And initially they got $130,000, but we got them more than double, $287 additional to that $130,000. Why? Because we went through with a fine cool you know we, we went through every sentence of that policy of, of that contract and we were able to recoup what that person was getting to them so I, what, bottom line is if you need my help my name is mike martinez i'm a public adjuster in several different states and if you need my help I encourage you, pick up the phone, go to my website, or pick up the phone, ideally pick up the phone and get in contact with me and say, hey, Mike, you know what, I got a claim that I'm about to place. Before you even call your insurance company, it's better to call me, because a lot of times you may say something that will create a denial. Now there's more more work, because you may have said something that, that may or may not be true, and it, it hurts you, right? That's why they're denying you. A lot of times they deny without even having a, a good cause to deny you. They just kind of, you know, move uh, move the pieces around in order to, to make it fit, right? But again, uh, my job is to, to represent you. My job is to take you and, and, and make sure that you're going through and getting everything you need to get. So pick up the phone. Let me know, hey, Mike, I opened up a claim. I was denied. Hey, Mike, I opened up a claim. I settled for this much within the last 12 months. Can we get anything more? I am here to help. 
Mike Martinez, pick up the phone, get in contact with me, let me work for you. I'll be speaking to you soon.